exacerbated failure back at Fanime, the year is 2012. My name is Christopher Michael Hemian. And I'm Keith Edward Moss. And we've come to do some more interviews, check out what this year has to offer for Fanime Fun. Fanime. So let's just start. I'm going to ask you, just for informational purposes so people know, what anime are you from? We're not from an anime. For the, we're from the American TV show uh, series Glee. Okay, Glee. Um, are you specific characters from not Glee? Particularly. Not exactly. You're just characters from, is it a high school? Yeah. Yes. The Cheerios, they're the, the cheer, cheer Squad. Squad. The Cheerios, the Cheer Squad, okay. Now, did you prepare any cheers or you just dress up like you are? We just dressed up. Okay. Could you do a cheer for me? Yeah. We're ready. It's not a whale, it's a fail exacerbated failure. What anime are you from? We're from the Dragon Ball series. All right, cool. Yes. Have, have you gone Super Saiyan yet? Yes. Okay, so you've already died a few times? Yeah. How did that feel? Um, Getting exploded. Not good at all. Uh, yeah. yeah. That was a mess. <laughs> See, you've died, right? But you still have this long belt. A little confused. What saga, I guess, are you guys in? Actually, well, if you want to take, call, uh, you want to talk in technicalities, this is actually um, Saiyan Saga for me. Okay. Because yes. yeah, because this because he still has the Kamei Senryu symbol right, right. when he fights Raditz. I actually did unweighted Goku earlier today without the weights. Okay. Yeah. I even, I even took the shoes off too. Oh. And so. Collins has this outfit for pretty much. Throughout the beginning of the Saiyan Saga to, to the end of the Cell Saga, because in Boo Saga he started growing out his hair. Yeah. Uh, technically, in Cell Saga he had different boots. Oh yeah. Oh. And he didn't good. wear this. True. Yeah. You're like an expert on this. I studied it. I, yeah. I literally was in college and I actually did research on Dragon Ball. That's what I used the internet for in middle school. I would never have caught that. Congratulations. You're better thank than you, me. Thank you. So thank you guys. I need you to tell me what anime you're from. I'm not from an anime, I'm from a comic book. Okay, what comic book? From the X-Men. Any specific X-Men? I am Storm. Storm, what does Storm do? I control the weather. It's an awesome power. Okay, what, best. what parts of the weather do you like to control the most? Uh, definitely the thunder and the lightning. Thunder and lightning, <laughs> yes. Okay. Can you, uh, can you demonstrate how you would conjure something for me? Like this. Okay. With ease. Very much as so. As little effort as possible. <laughs> yes. Are you from an anime? Yes. Really? What anime are you from? No, I'm not actually. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm from, I'm actually a USO Captain America girl right now. Are you with any of the really terrible looking Captain Americas I've seen today? I'm not. I was trying to find one to go flirt with right now. But... Yeah, yeah. No good ones yet? I just saw you doing some posing. Would you do that for our camera as well? Thank you. You're welcome. Please tell me you are from an anime. Yes. Okay. Code Geass. Code Geass. Yes. I was just about to ask. <laughs> now, what does your character do in this anime? How is he important? Uh, well, he's pretty much important throughout the whole anime because he's a heroic villain. I mean, yeah, heroic villain, so like, they pretty much show him as like, you know, being a hero, and then at the end he's really a villain. Now, is there any special powers involved inside this anime? Uh, yes, he has a Gias, and uh, he can pretty much use it on anybody, but you can only use it one time. So you can't tell your mom to make you a sandwich more than once? Nope, you can tell her one time and that's it. You can't use your Gias on her anymore. <laughs> Where are you from? Gotham City. Oh, how far away is that? Be exact, I'm going to say 3,000.2 miles. Uh, how did you get here? The bad wing. Huh. How often do people walk up to you and go, I'm Batman today? A lot. A lot. They mistake me for Christian Bale. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's messed up, isn't it? <laughs> See, there's a Christian Bale over there. You should go kick his ass. <laughs> I'm not going to kill you. I want you to tell your friends about me. I'm Batman. <sighs> okay. 
Thank you. As you can see over there, uh, there's no longer a fountain, water fountain there. There's is there been replaced by plants. Shrubbery! Yes. Okay. All right. God, what's your thought? We're at Fanime. I have to ask, what anime are you from? Which anime? Yeah. Skrillex. Skrillex. It's my yes. favorite anime. Ah, uh, on a serious note though, what anime are you from? Well, it's <laughs> actually a cartoon from the 1980s called Legend of Zelda. We don't have those in Hyrule. That's right, old person, old self of me. Yeah. I, I think I'm urbanized. Link. You're urbanized, Link. Okay, I can see that. Yeah. Nice. Is that a Pona? No, that's my shield. Oh, damn. Yours looks way more practical than mine. <laughs> right? Oh, man, yeah, no. The only thing this has ever gotten me in tri is in trouble with a law for having a religious symbol on my weapons here. That so is true, too. <laughs> so anyways, uh, where were we? Ah, oh, it's completely fine. So let's see, it was, uh, what game am I from? Yes. So it's, it's pretty, so, I'm from Washington, <laughs> Seattle, so this is pretty obscure. I don't know if you've ever, if you non-hipsters have ever heard of this game, but it's this thing <laughs> called Legend of Zelda. It's, uh, yeah, exactly, you've probably never heard of no. it anyways. It's, and I started off as like, started off as like a ska band, kind of like a punk rock band, like most things in Seattle. And then Nintendo got a hold of it and turned it into this game that it's uh, it's not very good. You probably shouldn't play it. It's Only awful. hipsters play it. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I heard apparently furries are into it because they can turn into a wolf or something. But, oh, you know, right. I don't go there. And I don't want to be offensive, so we won't say anything more on that. Okay. Now, why did you choose this uniform? This uniform? On a serious note there? And I yes. would say, um... Aside from it just being fantastic. Oh, fantastic. Fabulous, in fact. Yes. <laughs> Uh, no, it's, uh, I love making armor. And, uh, this is the one Link costume where he actually just wears ridiculous amounts of armor, so... I can. So I did. How many hours did you put into it? I think about a month worth of work or so. Um, how many hours went into that actual time frame of one month is completely beyond me. Still sleep deprived from trying to make it, I see. A year ago, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can still see the black lines here. Right. Serious shit, man. Okay. Now... This armor has something to do with in the game. When you put it on, what happens? I become as broke as I am in real life. <laughs> so can you tell me what anime are you from? I'm from Mobile Suit Gundam. Okay. How many times have you been shot by a beam rifle? Too many. Too many? Uh, you're 6F. That is space, right? Yes. All right. Indeed. You don't have thrusters on your legs, though. So you're very vintage to the anime, right? You check yeah. your backpack. You got big thrusters in your backpack. Yeah. You're very speedy, right? Well, I kind of uh, winged some parts of it. Okay. Well, I guess you've been shot a lot of times. You had to kind yes. of mix and match. All right. When's your next uh, deployment? Next deployment? Uh, assault on Jabra. All right. I wish you luck. Yeah. Uh, so you see me at the skits. That's what I'm doing, actually. All right. Awesome. Shoot some Gundams for me. What anime are you from? Legend of Zelda. Legend of Zelda. That's an anime? It's not not really. Yeah. Well, actually, there is an animated there series. Is, there, is <laughs> there is a manga and there is a cartoon, but it's not actually an anime. Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I kind of want you guys to describe your decision for coming as this version of <laughs> your character. <laughs> Why wear clothes when you don't have to? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's ah, short and simple. That's great. You're female versions of yeah, the traditional character. Hello. Yeah. It's actually uh, based uh, off of a fan art. So. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I've not seen this fan Hello. art. Is there something more scandalous in this fan art that I should be aware of? Uh, no. She just has the uh, star shields, and we did actually have uh, fire poles, like fire flower poles, but uh, we didn't bring those this year. What's your favorite thing to do here at Fanime? Spend all my money. Spend all your money? <laughs> you look like you have no money at home. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> That's okay, I'm good at hiding it. What is your for perfect ice cream sundae? Perfect ice cream sundae? Yes. Okay, so One you have to have at least like three kinds of ice cream and bananas and nuts and oh, hot fudge. Not bananas, not bananas. No, bananas yes, are delicious. Bananas. Hot fudge, not not cold. <laughs> and it's caramelous. Yeah. Caramelous and it always refills itself. Yeah, alright, okay. <laughs> yeah. That was magical now, Definitely. Yep, magical yes. ice cream. What anime are you from?
from? Oh, we're not from an anime. Not from an anime. <laughs> no. Technically, it's a game. Why would you even ask that? Anime. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, we're from a video game, The Legend of Zelda. Zelda. You know the thing on your shirt. You should know this. <laughs> and a matching hat items. too. They might not know. They oh, might. true. Oh. true. They should know this. What? They should know. It. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna ask what game each of you are from. If you have a specific game in mind that you dressed up for, so first you. Uh, I am Link from Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess, Link. Okay. Skyward Sword Zelda. Awesome. A mix between Skyward Sword Link and Ocarina of Time Link, because I actually brought the Ocarina of Time with me. As okay. Then, how are you, Skyward Sword, compared to? Well, for one, I'm wearing brown pants because. Uh, Guy Word Sword, he wears brown pants. Okay. And in Ocarina of Time, he plays the Ocarina of Time. Since we're in Fenime, I want to ask what events or rooms you guys like to go to most here. Well, this is my first time here, but I like the swap meet thing. No, I didn't find that much. There were some cute dresses. So I've never been to the swap meet. Crazy! You cray cray. You need to try it. I don't want to ask you any more questions because you have to go. You want to go somewhere else. And I'm in no hurry. Almost. No, I'm not lost. <laughs> just short on time and I keep running into awesome people. Right. So I'm going to be late to my thing. Please look. Indeed. I'm going to go through the line and ask you who you guys are. So, starting with you. A bad version of Skeletor. Bad version of Skeletor, okay. Uh, I watched the cartoon, had the action figures and stuff as a kid. Oh, nice. So now you're just reliving a dream or something. Kind of. <laughs> I'm just a satyr. Satyr? Nice. I mean, I like them. Well, I dressed as it because they're kind of like a sinister nature kind of thing with tricksters. Right. You have. Hooves. So, yeah, hooves. How are you standing on those? It's a. We took a pair of high heels and we took the heels off them. So now you're just all on your toes. He's quite literally <laughs> much, standing yeah. like this. But it's actually standing not like that this. bad. I mean, it's. If you were to compare it to anything, it'd probably be kind of close to point shoes yeah. for ballet. Oh, nice. But it's actually putting I'd say those it's, on. It's easier on, it's because point, point shoes, point shoes are than that. <laughs> but, uh, That's harder to walk in than my point shoes. I'm I think these you are easier than that. You didn't wear my point shoes. Well, I know, but I figured. <laughs> now, are are you supposed to be like um, his I master? I am Zatanna Zatara from the DC oh, okay. comic series. Why exactly did you choose that character? Um, mainly because it's a very un unsung character. It, she didn't get a lot of airtime, but I've always had a thing for magic. Right. And like optical illusions and stuff. Like I do this, I was going to bring acrylic balls and cascade and stuff. I see what I'm not supposed to be seeing, a wire. What is that supposed to do? Oh, that's amazing. That? We have a magic trick now for our footage. Yeah, sure. Awesome. Okay, I'm not gonna waste too much more of you guys' time. I can't, I can't oh. guarantee it'll be coherent. I'll try anyway. Need a couple shots of vodka before I do that. Uh, Alright. <laughs>